past several days, of course, everything under the sun has been said about these two new saints. They're, of course, both world historical figures, uh, hugely important for the church, and, and everything's been said about them. How would I sum them up? I've been thinking about it a lot these last several days. I think I'd use this phrase. They're both radically converted Christian disciples. Both John the 23rd and John Paul II go underneath all of their great, you know, heroic external accomplishments. They were both radically converted followers of Jesus Christ. They had given their lives utterly to him. Now see, the difference that makes is you don't live in fear. See, we're all sinners to varying degrees, and sinners will orient their lives according to their fears. I'm afraid of, of this. I'm afraid of not being a success. I'm afraid of getting sick. I'm afraid of not being loved. I'm afraid of dying. And see, when you live your life out of fear, and then you turn in. But see, when you've turned your life over to Jesus Christ, who is the incarnation of God's eternal, infinite love, then you live in a sort of freedom. And you live in this joy that goes beyond the joy that the world can give. As a great quote, we put it up on the blog site a few days ago from John the 23rd, is don't live your life according to your fears, but live your life, order your life according to your dreams. And he means dreams here in the deep spiritual sense. It's a joy and a freedom that comes. See, that's exactly why he was able to call the Second Vatican Council. Lots of people said to him at the time, this is crazy, you can't possibly do it. It's a bad idea, we couldn't organize it in time, don't do it. But John the 23rd lived as a radically converted Christian disciple. His life belonged to Jesus Christ, and so he had hope, he had confidence he could do it. John Paul II, of course, the same thing obtains. As a young man, he becomes a radically converted follower of Jesus Christ. And he grew up, as we know, under the worst possible conditions, under horrific political oppression, first by the Nazis and by the communists, under constant surveillance in his young years as a, as a priest and a bishop. He had every reason to be afraid, every reason to order his life according to fear. But he had given his life to Jesus Christ. And it gave him this blithe confidence to function as a priest, to draw young people to him, to go on those famous <laughs> kayaking trips and form a generation of students, and eventually, as Pope, to go out to the whole world, including to his native Poland, and to speak the great truth of the gospel even there in the midst of oppression. I think that's the great lesson, perhaps, from both these saints. And see, it's what's true of all the saints. Radically converted Christian disciples now live their lives not according to their fears, but according to the love of Christ. And that is a source of liberation. That's a source of joy and a source of mission. So everybody listen to me. That's the lesson of these two great saints. Turn your life right now over to Christ and you'll find this new freedom. Again, thanks for following these videos. Pray for us as we head home and God bless you.